Hi Water Science Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching in today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what is it that your person wants to share with you. So what is it that they're holding back? What is it that they're not um, opening up to you about? It is going to be a general reading. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video here. Otherwise, guys, I want you to take a moment. I want you to think, um, focus on your person and we'll see what is it that they want to share with you. Okay, it definitely feels like um, in the energies, the cards are trying to illuminate something here. Okay, so I definitely feel like your person uh, may be holding on to um, secret thoughts, some very secretive emotions or some very secret thoughts that they're very conflicted about. Okay, it feels like there is something that they want to share with you, but it feels like there's an inner struggle here. Okay, so they want to open up to you. They want to... Um, tell you how it is that they feel about you or about their emotions or they want to there's something here that I feel like your person is holding on to um, it's something that this particular person is have a heart is having a hard time expressing okay so with the star card your person definitely feels a very special connection with you your person does see you it's almost like they're an um, aura of you your person does see you as someone whom is destined for them okay so they feel like you and them are destined to do this thing they feel like you and them are destined for each other um, they feel like the connection that they have with you has definitely been woven into the fabric of their destiny okay so they do feel very they feel some very special emotions um, for you and they definitely have a special place for you and especially the connection that they share with you it is unlike anything else that they've ever felt before okay so they've never had feelings quite as strongly as quite as intensely as they do for you five of swords there is a conflict okay now this could tell us that there is a conflict as to how they feel about you there could be a conflict as to you know this person being conflicted over whether or not to share their emotions with you whether or not to tell you how they feel um, it could also be a conflict as in you know something he has happened between the two of you that has put you in a very turbulent situation with you and your person okay so perhaps you guys are in a disconnection or a discord right now um, I just want to say there is a lot of background noise happening outside so um, hopefully it's not distracting us from the reading but there is a lot going on out there a lot of road rage okay back to the five of swords energy so look right now could be a moment could be um at a time in your connection when the both of you are you know at odds with each other or the both of you are in a discord disconnection or a separation okay um there is some sort of you know the tumultuous clouds in the background do tell us that there is some sort of turbulency there is a turbulent situation that has unfolded or is unfolding between you and them and perhaps you know this has something to do with the fact that why this person feels like opening up to you right now is not a good time it could also be that they're, they're conflicted with their feelings for you so they're not sure what they feel okay so they feel some very strong intense emotions but they may be a little bit unfamiliar as to what it is that they feel for you um, they also it feels like there's a lot going on with your person so maybe they feel like now's not a good time to um, talk about emotions and now's not a good time to talk about you know whatever this is that this person wants to discuss temperance in reverse is a disharmony and especially you know it positioned along the five of swords here um, and then looking down at the moon card there is this disharmony okay that is uh, very that is present very strongly in the cards and in the reading here and I feel like in your situation okay it doesn't necessarily mean like it could mean on a spiritual level okay on an emotional level like maybe physically you guys are together and you're still in a relationship but some things have shifted emotionally okay some things have shifted internally for um, you know how with regards to how you feel with regards to how they feel there's also like this lack of patience I feel like this person wants to share something with you or maybe in the past they have shared something with you that um was a little bit impulsive okay so maybe they've said 
things that they've regretted um, or maybe they've said or done things that they wish they hadn't and they felt like they were being a little bit you know in, um, a little bit impatient a little bit impulsive and maybe they're wishing they could do things differently or they're wishing they could um, you know redo a situation here it is it's definitely a sign to me I mean there are certain cards that seem to indicate that there is something that's off um, right now. Something that's off in the relationship. Okay. Um, okay, the page of wands in reverse. I mean, upright, he represents joy, he represents growth. Um, you know fertility but in reverse it just feels like things are a little bit you know there's this this harmony there's this disconnection there's this imbalance there's this you know lack of joy to me it feels like the energies of the reading are a little bit disorientating if i were to be honest it just feels like maybe your person doesn't necessarily know what they want okay there is a lot of confusion a lot of emotional as well as mental confusion in the readings and it just feels like uh, you know maybe your person is someone who might want you one day and might not want you as much the next okay maybe um, your person is you know a little bit hot and cold on and off um, or maybe the whole situation is um, you know the whole situation the whole connection the relationship is a bit of an emotional roller coaster it's on and it's off and the both it doesn't have it almost like it has potential but right now it doesn't have that doesn't have a clear direction and with how your person is feeling right now they think that the two of you they feel very strongly rather than they think um, they feel that the two of you are destined okay and they feel like there is some sort of unfinished business or there is a destiny that the two of you have yet to fulfill but they don't see that clear direction and it seems like the cards also seem to agree that there is no clear line of direction it's just it, things are a little bit confusing things are a little bit disorientating they're a little bit you know foggy and this is how your person feels right now it just feel, they feel like if they were to be entirely honest with you they feel like what you had in the beginning is not what the two of you had now somewhere along the lines the connection lost momentum okay if some of you are doing long distance perhaps it's due to that sorry due to that um otherwise it just feels like it feels like they want to bring something back into the relationship or they want you to bring something back into the relationship. OK, so, you know, if you go back to the start of your relationship, to the start of the connection to when you guys were first dating, perhaps you were putting a lot of effort. Maybe you were putting a lot of effort into the connection and it feels like, you know, they want you to do the same. OK, so they want you to put in a little bit more effort. They want you to give this connection more of your energy. OK, so that's your physical energy, but your mental, your emotional, your spiritual energy. They want you to give it more attention. OK, um, and they might not even know it themselves. And so maybe that's what they're a little bit confused about. OK, um, and maybe that will help clarify some of the emotions that their feelings uh, that they have for you. But there is this disconnect um, it feels like this person wants to either reconcile with you, okay, um, or they want to build a connection with you. They want to, you know, build a future and go forward into the future with you, but they're not sure how to do it. And you're not making it any more simpler. So I don't know what it is that you're doing or you're not doing for that matter. But, you know, I feel like this person is also feeding off your energy. And I think that, you know, you're both sort of in rhythm with each other, if that makes sense, okay? So I feel like the both of you are lacking this direction because you're both feeding off each other. You know, you're both wanting this. You're both wanting a reconciliation and you're both wanting to make it work, but neither of you have a very good idea as to how to do it, okay? So they don't know, you know, the steps. They're not necessarily sure of the steps that they should be taking or you should be taking, okay? So I'm just going to pull a few more cards, clarify some of this confusion, some of this emotional and mental confusion. Okay, so... Okay, so... They think about you a lot. Okay, you might even have this... Um, 
they may not be communicating with you right now, but I think they you are receiving some of the messages that they're sending to you via telepathy, okay? If you guys are in not contact with one another, then this is someone who does have you on their mind a lot. They think about you, they, they may have restricted access to you right now, um, they may want you, but again, I think all of that is, they may not say it out loud to you, they may communicate in other ways, but it does feel like this person wants you to reach them and they want you to put in more of that effort or that, you know, give this more of your time, your attention and your energy. And there's this sense of them missing you. So um, makes sense if this is long distance or makes sense if you guys are at a distance from each other. So a physical distance, geographical distance, or be it emotional distance. Okay, your person is missing you. They're also quite nostalgic about what you had because what you had in the beginning is not what you have now. Okay, so we spoke about the connection losing momentum and this person seems to want to go back to the start or they want to go back to a happy place. Okay, the happy place that they had with you, but they're just not sure how to get there or they don't feel like you're making the effort, you know, to to, um, to get there as well. So it's this uncertainty. But I do see that this person is feeling very confused because they want this, so they want a reconciliation, they want to make it work, but the confusion comes in because they don't know how to do this, they don't know how to get there, they don't know how to approach this, okay? But this is someone who's feeling very hurt. Four of Swords depicts a wounded soldier, so this person is feeling very hurt. Maybe they're feeling hurt of you know, due to the way that everything went down, maybe they're feeling hurt um, due to the fact that, you know, you guys, that maybe you're not putting enough, you're not giving this enough of your energy, your attention. It just feels like this person is, you know, they're processing, um, they're processing some heavy emotional stuff, okay? It, it does feel like, and maybe they're even hurting to be apart from you. So they're hurting to be away from you. They're hurting to be, you know, um, apart, okay, but it does feel like this person, maybe they're hurting, if you guys have broken up or disconnected from one another, you know, this person is still processing, trying to heal from the hurt, so there's that energy that's also weighing them down. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks so much for um, watching. Thank you for listening. Please show your support by hitting the not notification bell, by liking, sharing, or subscribing to the channel. Bye.